Welcome to Pause for Thought at Grace Church Sandbach. I want to talk to you briefly about a resource that's freely available uh, for these troubled times in which we find ourselves. But let me begin first of all with a question. How are you doing? I mean, how are you really doing? How are you coping with lockdown, with social distancing, without the reassuringly familiar structures of work or school, travel, or visitors? And how are you reacting deep down to a heightened sense of your own vulnerability, uh, weakness and helplessness in the face of such tremendous odds? Some, of course, are more vulnerable to the coronavirus than others. But truth is, we're all vulnerable. The virus, it seems, is no respecter of persons or geographical borders. It is both global and indiscriminate in its reach. That means that none of us is immune. And the sad fact is that most communities are no longer strangers to these, this unwelcome intruder. And the painful subject of death and mortality is not just limited to news bulletins and intensive care units, but has become the increasingly frequent topic of conversation amongst families and neighbourhoods up and down the land. Our vulnerability is made worse by the growing sense of loneliness and isolation that many are experiencing, especially now that we're more than six weeks uh, into restrictive measures. These very necessary restrictions have had the added effect of stripping away much of what we've come to rely on for satisfaction, for pleasure, for significance. It's striking to listen to some of the survivor stories in which they testify to a, a new discovery of what's really important in life and how little other things matter when you're fighting for your next breath. So let's come back to our initial question. How are you doing in these troubled times? The book of Psalms, sometimes referred to as, as the songbook of the Bible, is a great resource in times of trouble. To take just one example, uh, the lyrics of Psalm 46 begin like this. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. That means that for whoever puts their trust in God, he is the ultimate answer to our vulnerability. He is our refuge. That is a place of safety and security and shelter in crisis and in the storm. God is also our strength in the face of felt weakness and limited resources. And God is a very present help in these moments when we feel our helplessness and our distress most keenly. That means he is always available. All you have to do is to cry out to him and lean on him for his help. Well, thank you so much for joining us and hope that you'll visit us again soon.